Good morning. It's Monday, April 20th, and this week I'm going to be doing a few of the devotionals, um, and Tyler will be doing one, but he got me today. So let's dive in. We're going to be talking about Matthew 6 and the ways in which um, God encourages us about his provision. He says, And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin, yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow, is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. And so this morning, I wanted just to talk about how um, our government has seen fit to um, provide a lot of us with stimulus checks as a way to boost our economy, and they are the means by which God is providing for us in these difficult times. Um, and so, I just want to help us think through a paradigm of how to think about how we spend and save those stimulus checks. Um, we want to think about what Matthew wrote about, um, about how God... Um, encourages us not to be inward focused or to be worrying and when we worry we really focus on just um, hoarding what we have um, if you've gone to the grocery store lately you'll notice that it's it, there's a lot of things that are hard to come by toilet paper being one of those things and so um, as God's children one of the ways that we can be distinctly different than the world and to um, exercise our faith and trust in him is to be um, looking externally and to be um, thinking about how could we bless others, how we, could we give back to God as he has given to us, um, rather than just hoarding what we have. Um, so some ideas. First of all, I don't want that to make you think that I mean don't save what you have. Proverbs makes it very clear that um, a wise man or woman saves for um, difficult times ahead. The ant stores up for winter. And so we need to be wise in considering what are our needs, what are the needs of our family in the coming months. Um, so thoughtfully budgeting that, but not doing so with an eye on um, just fear and, and thinking about only yourself, but having an eye on what does God want me to do to bless those around me with this. So that moves us into the second thing. I'm just kind of thinking about the paradigm. What is what did God call us to? He called us to love God with all our hearts and to love our neighbor as ourselves. So thinking through what is a way, what are some ways that we can be people who radically bless other people? Um, I don't think a lot of people are going to be considering how can I give away some of my stimulus checks. So why don't we consider exercising faith in God by um, first maybe tithing off of it. And that doesn't necessarily mean going directly to the church, but it could go to the church. But what's, way, what's a way that we could take the tithe off of that stimulus check and potentially secretly bless a neighbor with um, maybe groceries or paying their electrical bill or something? Um, so just want to encourage you as you think through your finances in this season, how can I show and exercise my faith that God is going to provide for what I need? So just a few thoughts. Um, I would just encourage you to continue to stay faithfully and give generously. Okay, have a great day.